so I gotta win. This life I'm living, is it really me? Uh, is your love for me infinite? Will I get a meal off my penmanship? These the type of thoughts play on in my head. Nightmares are going back in the feds. Time is money, can't invest it wrong. If he went back, would you wait for him? Maybe you ain't the one that he should spend cake on. What up, though? What up, though? Seen and put in so much work that I'm immune to the shit that hurts. This paper chase is a race, I gotta get it first. I'm talking matching race, his and hers. Yeah, man, what I want to do, they don't fuck with me. I, I just want family to look up to me. That means you're special if you're close to me. Told her, baby, just believe in me. Sometimes I don't know what you see in me. I trust in GOD. I need God in my life. Need no, God no. in your life, man. Turn it up, man. It's Sunday, man. Feel well, good Sunday. To heaven before the gates close. If you need God in your life, let's go, man. Going to church to watch the sin off me. I got loved ones depending on me. If you got loved ones depending on you, man, go hard for them. So I gotta win. Yeah. If you got loved ones depending on you, give yourself a round of applause. I mean, you going hard for them. If they depending on you, that mean you, you are a dependable person. Like, if they're depending on you, you got to be a person that they can depend on, or it wouldn't be a conversation. Also, man, thank y'all. Uh, if you tuned in right now, thank y'all for being tuned in. It's Detroit King Tape, and y'all know what this is. Shit straight off the muscle. It's health and hustle, baby. It's the health and hustle show. Uh, we got a couple topics to talk about today. I just wanted to come tap in with y'all and, and give y'all some more insight on a few things. Hopefully y'all can gain something from this show. You know, gain something from me. This damn mic on my face like that. But at the end of the day, I hope y'all are doing good. If you uh, woke up thinking healthy, feeling healthy, give yourself a round of applause. If you got a healthy circle, give yourself a round of applause. Uh, if you got plans on uh, doing some good deeds today or you already did some good deeds, give yourself a round of applause. That's part, that's part of winning. You know what I'm saying? That's the part of winning. Reason I'm playing this song win today, this is my song win, uh, Detroit King tape, win. Look that up if you wanna, you know what I'm saying? If you're interested in hearing that. Anybody that knows, if you've been in the game, you've been a part of the game, it's hard to turn the other cheek when plugs keep sending keys. That means when that work is good to you, when that hustle is good to you, the bag is flowing, man, it's hard to turn that shit down because you got X amount of dollars that's generating on the regular from that consistency. And if you any type of boss, you know how to, you know what I'm saying, be the puppet master. So it's really just... It's like, what do they call it? Uh, no, Trent Villaquist makes you talk. But I'm trying to think of when you, you make shit move. You know what I'm saying? Without even moving. Like, you make shit move without even... This shit come from your thoughts right up here. You ain't get that. Pick that up. Drop that off there. They got this money over here. So it's all... You like organizing shit for real. It's organized crime for sure. But at the same time, you can do that same shit with legit business. So that's why if you don't got the hustle code, man, tap in and get you a copy of that hustle code. Get your very copy of that hustle code. The hustle code is doing. Oh, move this down. Cute out the way. The hustle code is doing very well, man. We we doing exceptionally well. Let's give ourselves a round of applause for that. I want to give myself and my guy Andre Bear White, who helped me put this book together. Uh, we worked extensively on it and went back and forth. But uh, I want to give us a round of applause for actually putting a good product out that y'all people can appreciate <laughs> DetroitKingTape.com tap in and get that hustle code okay now I'll leave the hustle code right there so now what I want to say is um, you know everybody this is the era of where everybody wants to win that's why this song was so important to play let me let y'all hear it Me. I got love and I made this song 
because it was at a time I think I had yeah I had my studio on 11 I had my studio on 11 mile in Madison Heights and I was building the studio up and um I think I only needed like 180 more thousand to pay the building off or some shit like that right and I was just you know I had my mind set and we was trying to write grants we was doing everything you know what I mean because I was still hustling everything just trying to uh get that paid off because I was like damn I don't want to you know what I mean I want to just have this bitch cashed out so I could focus on other creative things focus on being creative so I had so many different programs and shit planned like I wanted to um do some contracts with schools for children could come and uh do some musical uh programs up there and shit like arts, creative arts, shit like that. I just had a lot of things planned with that building. But long story short, uh, some things wind up occurring. You know, money slowed down, so I wind up losing that building. That was the second building that I lost. I lost my uh, studio downtown on Griswold. If y'all know anything about 1250 Griswold, I had that. Uh, Juan had that studio before me. Uh, I forgot who else had it. Uh, Westbrook, I think he got it from uh, the football player Westbrook. Um, then Juan got it, uh, then I had it, and I, I changed it around, I did a lot of different shit to it, refaced it, uh, put over a few hundred thousand in it, and to lose the damn building. Same thing I did with this, these is repeat behaviors, so that's what I'm showing y'all. The reason I learned so much and I'm able to speak in this hustle code extensively, the shit I talk and the ways I talk and the lingo for real, is because I know it. This is not a book of like, I'm, I'm not knocking any other books of uh, personal development or things of that nature, but this is not a book where I'm talking about someone else's life. This is a direct message from me. This is coming straight from the author himself. You know, these are my life experiences. These are my real life experiences that I'm, I've been through and we're currently going through and i'm sharing them with y'all and i'm actually giving y'all the insight on it because you can learn a lot from another person's mistakes and you can learn a lot from another person's decisions you know if he made the right move to get the bag too so it's a lot to be learned <clears throat> without you actually going and bumping your own head so in a chapter in the hustle code i say rework proves costly to a hustler and that is so true because I bumped my head a couple times and I'm talking about not spending crumbs like I was spending hundreds of thousands you know what I mean on uh trying to invest though man trying to in business you have to believe in yourself enough to risk that paper so I've always risked that paper you know what I'm saying whether it was on the road or whether it was putting it in the studio you know or my music or whatever like, man, I risk paper. I'm a risk taker. You know what I mean? I'm a, I'm a do it. And because chances make champions. If you don't believe the chances make champions, then you watching the wrong show right now. You know what I'm saying? So give yourself a round of applause if you're a risk taker. And taking risks don't mean that it have to be just in a, um, in an illegal way. You can be a risk taker in business the same way I invested money in these um, in my companies, you know, everything like the buildings, the studios like these are chances that you have to take because the same way you lose is the same way you can strike gold. Like my mother always said, and my mother was a, a true gambler and still is. And she all her her saying always was you can't win if you ain't in. So if you're not in, you can't win. If you're not playing the game, there's no way you can win. And in order to play the game, guess what you got to have? Skin in the game. So let's go, man. Round of applause to my mother. Round of applause to her way of thinking that taught me how to be the hustler that I am today. Round of applause. If you are a true hustler, that means you're a survivor because a hustle is nothing more than a perfected trade, a perfected skill or trade. So I want to talk about winning today. And we want to talk about winning because it's the win. Like, everybody wants to win. Everybody's striving so hard to win. It's, you know, I want to win. I want this. I want that. I want uh, the women want Birkins. They want flights. They want to be flued out. You know what I'm saying? I got to, I love double R's. Like, I can't lie. You know what I mean? Like, 
I like a lavish lifestyle as well, but I also understand that uh, having a normal lifestyle is grounding to you too. You have to, even if you are living that lavish lifestyle, it feels good still to plant your feet somewhere and just chill a normal life. I'm not looking for the fame or the stardom. I'm not doing this for the fame or the stardom. Like, you know, I just got off a call um, to where I'm setting up to where I'm going to start doing the, the tours to where I'm going back to like juvenile centers, talking to the youth, speaking engagements and things of that nature. Like we about to really line this up, man. For me, it's more about uh, giving back and trying to school and teach you know whoever needs to hear it i'm just sharing information and from my life experiences and the things that i've been through so you know it's health and hustle man round of applause for that now let's get into it i'm gonna show you all the difference between now you know what i'm saying opposed to you know back in the day so we all know the 50 get rich or die trying story you know what i'm saying everyone is in that mindset right now like they're gonna get rich or die trying because i think they're being heavily influenced by the social medias the everybody they see winning nobody's on that bitch posting their failures if you go on social media everybody winning nobody posting if they rent is behind you know what i'm saying they need bill money you know what I mean? They need uh, the cars getting repo. Nobody posting that shit. Motherfuckers only posting they wins. Like even when the girls going to gyms or whatever, the guys too, whatever. They want to post just their uh, their progress. You know what I mean? Or that they post some of the hard work, but nobody's posting their hurts and their downfalls. So and rightfully so. so who want to see that shit? I don't want to see that shit. I don't even want to hear that shit. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully you got your shit together or hopefully you're doing the necessary things to get your shit together. And this is a great start getting the hustle code because the hustle code teaches you personal development and it teaches you it's all about your mindset. Everything, each one of these codes uh, and chapters, they have to deal directly with your mindset and how you are functioning and moving throughout life. With whatever you're doing from business to relationships lifestyle everything so if you're in a mindset of get rich or die trying because you're being so heavily influenced right just remember this right here it has to be in your cards to make it back in the day the difference was with our grandmothers, grandfathers, all of these people, right? They understood that they had to work hard for what they wanted, right? This era is more influenced with getting what they want without working hard. The whole thing is the shortcut, the shortcut, the shortcut. Everybody trying to give you. This is a guide, but it ain't a shortcut guide. I ain't giving you no shortcuts. I'm just giving you game. Now, if you can get some game to spare you from bumping your head, then I wouldn't call that a shortcut. I would just call that a great lesson. But nowadays, everybody wants to have a shortcut to the money. They want to they don't want to go to school for all these years and do that right there, which is school. Listen, you know, OK, that's not a good example. Right. So let's take school off the table because you don't have to go to school to get the bag nowadays. So let's say this right here, but you still have to put in that work, whether it's mentally, whatever the work, physically, whatever you have to do, you have to be passionate about what you're doing. You have to put that work in to get that bag. So now everybody's looking for the shortcut. Nobody's thinking about work and nobody's thinking about none of that shit. They just think about, man, how can I get to it? I know I can get to that bag. Every boxer thinks they're Floyd. Or they want to be Floyd, even if they don't say it, even if they hate on him, whatever it is. Every boxer wants to be Floyd. They love it. his record is impeccable. You know what I'm saying? And the way he maneuvered through his career, you know, he he really fought. Like motherfuckers say, well, he didn't really fight. No, Floyd fought. He fought a lot of motherfuckers. Like he got, you know, he earned the title. Let's just say that. So a lot of people think that they're gonna mimic that or they're gonna be that. That's because of the influence. The influence makes you think that you can be that too, right? And I'm not here to say that you can't be that, 
But I'm here to say that it's okay not to be that. It's okay to be normal too. See, we, this society has enforced um, the audi, the, enforced the, the concept of you gotta be great. You got to be one of the greats. You got to be the best at this. You got to be this right here. Instead of understanding that it's okay to be who you are. So if you're looking at yourself as a basic, normal person, and you're looking at these other motherfuckers like supermen, superwomen, all this right here, and this makes you feel like shit. That's why you you don't... I teach my my kids, right? I teach my children. Never look up to nobody. I don't even want them to, you know what I'm saying? Like, honestly, like I said in this song right here, I just want family to look up to me. Honestly, I don't want them to look up to me as a praise. I want them to be able to hold me in reverence to say, damn, my father did it for us. You see what I'm saying? Like, my father laid it down. You know what I'm saying? Laid the 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 uh the floor the format down for us. That's what I want to say. Not look at me like I'm something greater than they are because we all have the power. It's just if it's meant for you to do that, if it's in your cards to win. That's what I'm talking about winning here. But to get rich or die trying is actually killing us. It's actually fucking our heads up. Like I think we're in the biggest state of depression ever. Mentally, you know, not the, the recession, but the depression. The depression is what fucks up everything. So if you're depressed over there, like try to talk somebody, talk to somebody, get some help. If you need to talk to somebody, you can tap in with Detroit King Tape. Uh, look me up on DetroitKingTape.com. Reach out to me, DM me, whatever. If you need to talk, you need something, let's work something out to where, you know, we can talk. I'll give you. I give you a, a session free. I can give you a first session free. I ain't tripping. You know what I mean? I'm trying to get back. And if I can save somebody, help somebody, talk to them, give them some sound advice, like I'm, uh, we're establishing common, a common uh, sense consultation service. So if you need to tap in for some sound advice, man, if I can save you from doing something crazy, reckless, stupid, crashing out, guess what? I'm here for you. Also, if I can give you some good information that, uh, you know, uh, help steer your uh, career, uh, fucking uh, project, creative project, whatever you're working on in the right direction, I'm, I'm here for that too. So now what I want to say is stop putting all this pressure on yourself to be the next billionaire, millionaire, great, this and that and that. I'm an artist, right? I make music. But I don't give a shit about being the next Drake, Kanye, any of those guys. I don't I don't care. Like that's not I don't wanna mimic anybody. I just wanna be the best version of me. That's what you need to understand. Take these people off the pedestals. For the women out here, y'all it's good to have motivation. Now if you watching a person's um on their timeline, they on your timeline or whatever, you're watching them and you're getting motivation from them, great. That's great to get motivation from them. But don't praise or look up to none of them motherfuckers because everybody, they're only showing you, they're projecting what's on the camera. Don't allow that to influence you to make you feel bad about yourself because you're not at their status. It's okay. You got to think. Bro, it's motherfuckers that's teenagers that have more money than me or you will possibly ever have in this lifetime you think that makes me or uh, slights me or makes me feel any type of way it doesn't make me feel any type of way guess what it makes me feel good for them i'm happy to see people win so you just need to be happy to see them win but never a let let that affect you because that's a, a character defect that's an emotion that you tapped into that that is attached to envy, jealousy. Uh, you might get frustrated from that shit right there. And those are low vibrations. Remember I told you that those vibrations are 200 and under in the hertz. When we need to be in the 700s and up. 
you know, with love, enlightenment, at least 528 and up, because that's the love frequency. We want to take that shit up. The enlightenment, I think, is 700, and it keeps going up. So we want our, our, our hurts to be up. We want our vibrations to be high. We want to vibrate higher, not low. So please don't attack yourself and project that envy, frustration, and everything to go towards you like, man, fuck, I ain't doing enough. I ain't doing this right here. Because you got so much to do. And we have a false belief that, you know, we don't have time to do it. You got time to do it, man. If you look at the game, a lot of people didn't break in the game until later in the years anyway. Stop stressing yourself on that because if it's in your cards to win, if it's written, you're going to win. If it's written for you to win, you're going to win. Can't nobody stop God's plan. See, that's the problem. When you look at other people, if you're looking at other people on these platforms, on these social media platforms, and like women, if you look at a woman and her body killing it, you know what I'm saying? And you're looking at her like, damn, her body killing it. And yours may not be that. It's cool to pull motivation from it and work out to get that way. But to beat yourself down because her body is killing it, you're doing yourself a disservice. And you're putting unnecessary stress on you. Just do the necessary things it needs to do. you need to do to get that body. That's it. Same thing with a bag. Dudes. I never look on here and see dudes dripping, see them jeweled up, see them this right here. Like, yo, I salute that shit. Don't look at that and feel less than about yourself because we all take that shit off at the end of the day. We all eat, sleep shit. You feel me? So never allow that to make you feel less than the man or the person that you are. I never let that, uh, I never will allow any of that to penetrate this being that I have. It's only one of these right here. You feel me? If you allow that to penetrate you, to for you can, you know, pause. You know, <laughs> damn. If, you, if you allow that to penetrate your mind and make you feel less than you are, come on. That's your flaw. And you really need to, to like, Work on that because that shit will stop you in doing a lot of things. Doubt is a bad motherfucker because doubt is connected to fear. And when you when you talk about that fear building up in you, man, come on. I just spoke on Hayes. Hayes reacted. Earl Hayes this is my guy. Uh, rest in peace to him and uh, uh, his girl. But he took both of their lives out of fear. You know what I'm saying? That's the bottom line with that. That was fear, which stirred up anger. And now, look, he's gone. So my thing is this right here. Don't, when you when doubt creeps in, you got to immediately rule that shit out. Like when I'm doing anything and doubt creeps in, I immediately, man, get that shit out of here. I don't suppress it no more. I find ways to relieve it. I talk about it. I do whatever. I say, man, nah, this ain't not, not here. Like, I'm going to make that happen. Even if it's looking like it won't happen, I'm still hopeful. Like, nah, it's going to happen for me. I always do it. Something always comes up for me. I'm a clutch player. I work better under pressure. You know what I'm saying? If you put me under pressure, like, I work better. Like, it's a saying that we used to say all the time. When I'm at my, when I'm at my worst, I'm at my best. So that's what you have to be when you're at your worst. Be at your best. Because that means you have to tap into... Uh, more thoughts you have to become more creative to navigate and move to make it through this shit so if you're trying to win the worst thing you can do is allow doubt to creep in to where you're doubting yourself to if you can actually do it you can't you can't do that stop comparing your life to others comparison what they say uh comparison is the root of all suffering Stop comparing yourself. You know what I'm saying? Don't compare yourself because it's only one you. You got a fucking fingerprint for your own fingerprint for a reason. This is a design. So if you understand that the creator has designed you specifically to be you, to do a certain thing or to do many great things here on this planet, right? Why would you question or doubt that? Don't that sound crazy, though? For you to question and doubt the creator, when you have your own fingerprints, you look like you, it's only one you. 
So all you need to do is tap into those talents and those gifts and that creativity you were blessed with to be able to make it. Don't question the creator. Don't spit in the face of the creator. Like, come on. Like, why would you do that? When he, she, the higher power, source energy, whatever, they blessed you with whatever you need to do. You know what I'm saying? Get a creator a round of applause. Get your higher, your higher power, your source energy, God, Allah, uh, whatever you want to call your higher power. You know what I'm saying? The source that you come from, your creator. Give them a round of applause. Because nothing is by accident. None of this shit was by accident. Your being, none of this. Your mentality, the way you think, nothing is by accident. So, now, we just want to get on the right track and think right. So, now, since we're talking about all this up-to-date shit, now, let's go back in the day again. Let's talk about this. When you're talking about... If you look back in the day at your family, right? Like my grandmother. My grandmother worked hard. She worked at the plant. You know what I'm saying? She had my mother. And uh, she understood it took hard work to get to where you got to get to. They had certain things that they were brought up on, certain beliefs, certain everything, right? But they understood that whatever they did was what they did. They didn't see other people's shit and they wanted to be those people. They knew who they were. They said, okay, no, I'm cool. I got my job. I'm going to do this. I'm going to work. I'm going to do this. I'm going to have my family. And this is what we're going to do. And I'm going to push my children to do better. That's what it is. You have to be okay with who you are and what you got. Everybody wasn't trying to be a star back then. Now everybody wants to be a star. Everybody wasn't trying to be a millionaire or a billionaire back then. They were okay with whatever they were doing. People nowadays think it's a sin to be normal. You hear how many people talk in the songs? I probably even mentioned that sitting in the song. Nothing basic over here, nothing. You know what I mean? So my thing is this right here. It's being promoted at an all-time high. But we have to understand this part right here. Is that it's okay to be normal. It's okay to have a sense of normalcy. You know what I mean? Everything doesn't have to be over the fucking top. Because to live that lifestyle, or over the top lifestyle, a luxury lifestyle, it takes a lot to do that. And you're going to sacrifice a lot in life. Like a lot of women, like if you want to be career driven, strong, establish this right here. You have to understand you're going to sacrifice your love life. You're going to sacrifice your family. Because you working and doing all this shit right here, you may not even be able to have a family or a relationship. So are you ready for that sacrifice? It takes a lot to sacrifice. So, and that's the same way in, in, with men or anyone else. Are you willing to do that sacrifice? That's why even in being in the streets, we sacrifice a lot. To live the, the lifestyles. You talking about risking your life. You talk about taking all type of risk. Going to jail for life. Everything. Just to be able to live in a nice house. Take care of your family. Drive a nice car. And there's so many ways around it. That you can do that in another way to get to the bag. Without risking your life to that extent. You know what I'm saying. So that's the message that I'm pushing. That's what the hustle code is about. Trying to save, you know what I mean, some of these people in the street as well. Like, you don't have to think to that extent. You got to get out of that. I was in that for a long time where I actually thought I was going to get rich out the streets. Like, everybody that's hustling in the streets has the mentality of, yeah, dog, all I need is this right here, and I'm going to blow the fuck up. I'm going to kill the game. And that doesn't happen. 99% of the time, that shit do not work like that. You know, I came years ago, I came to the conclusion that I wasn't getting rich out of the streets. And when I say rich, we all been hood rich. I've been rich before. Like, if you've been in the streets getting to it for real, like, you done had a million dollars. You should have, you know, like, that just come with the territory and the game of having plugs, connections, 
you know, and being able to get shit for cheap, take it over there, sell it for high. You know what I'm saying? Bust down, get that check up. This is, you know, if you're a true hustler from the streets, and not just a hustler, you know what I'm saying, in life, because we got a lot of hustlers that never were in the streets, and they just hustle all legit shit. But I'm talking about for the people that's in the streets that's hustling illegal or doing crime, shit like that. Like, the mentality of you getting rich off the streets, you got 99.999 that you won't make it. So if you are in the streets, I'm not promoting for you to be there. I'm not advising for you to be there. What I'm saying is that get you an exit strategy to get the fuck out. Especially if you got some paper. Especially if you pull some paper from the block already. Man, tuck that shit and keep it moving. Because you you don't want the shit to go left on you. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to have work that hard for them to snatch the rug off from underneath you and you got away with all this shit and now they take everything. You feel me? And I've seen it happen too many times. To where people, you like, damn, man, they doing good. They comfortable with everything. They sitting up and they come and snatch the rug off from underneath you. So you got to be careful with your moves. And the thing about it is, I'm going to say this right here, is that I'm not perfect. You know, but am I doing any of that? No, but I'm just saying I'm not perfect and it could be something that set me off right now. If anybody fuck with my family, if anybody, you know what I'm saying? Like if the disrespect is that strong, now I'll practice patience and, you know what I'm saying, temperament. But if it's a situation, I'm human, I'm a man. So if it's a situation to where, you know, I got to do whatever I got to do, man, I'll do it. I, will, I ain't going to bullshit nobody. You know what I'm saying? If, if it come down to me taking care of my family, feeding my family, and making shit happen, which I found other ways to do it now. You know what I mean? I have legit ways to make things happen, but I'm just saying, like, I'm going to defend myself. I'm going to defend my family. I'm going to protect myself. I'm going to protect my family. And I'm going to do whatever I have to do to put food on the table. But everything within reason, not things that are not within reason. You see what I'm saying? Like, doing a lot of shit I was doing in the streets is not reason enough to do it. You know, I'm not going out here to fucking break a law to, to get a chain or to get a watch or get a car. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's doing that shit. Because that's really, that's goofy as hell to risk your life to do all this shit just to get those material things which you can go fucking get with good credit. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. You can turn your fucking credit up and go get a loan or something and get that shit. So... Nah, man, there's too many other ways to be able to get a bag now than just to rely on, you know what I mean, pushing this, selling drugs, doing that. It is, it's not necessary. So, with that being said, if you're in the streets, you in that situation, think of a way to get out of it. You know what I'm saying? If you in, you in that situation, think of a way to remove yourself and to get out of it uh, as quick as possible, as easy as possible. If you need any type of... Um, consultation advice or you need to talk to a real one about real situations i'm here you know what i mean and i told you i'll give you the first i give you the first uh the first call free then after that shit we're gonna have to talk some payment because i got to get paid for what i do too so if you in the mindset of changing give yourself a round of applause if you're trying to change if you're making an attempt to change and do better in life give yourself a round of applause so now back to winning everybody store everybody's story is not 50 cent story stop trying to get rich or die trying that's the bottom line of this shit everybody you you not 50 cent you know what i'm saying you're not 50 so stop thinking you you got to get rich or die trying and all this shit right here it might just be made for your ass to work a job stop thinking that you if you box and trying to box stop thinking you the next floyd mayweather you know what I mean? You could be motivated by him, but guess what? It might not be meant for you to be the Floyd, next Floyd. Obviously, it's not because Floyd is Floyd. We have yet have a person to replace Muhammad Ali. We have yet found a person to replace Mike Tyson. We have yet found a person to replace Jordan. I don't give a fuck how much they compare stats, do all this shit right here. Like, the fire that's inside of them guys, that's an individual fire. The fire that was in Kobe, that's an individual fire. The creativity, the go hard, the determined. Like, all of that shit right there applies to just them. And they turned it to a certain way. They turned it up in a certain way that's 
their swag on there. They stamp on there. You know what I'm saying? So you focus on putting your sauce on it. Being who you are. Stop having the mentality of we all fucked up in the head of everybody like, man, fuck that. I got to get it. Or they going to get it. Or else, blah, 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 blah. What happened to just being you? If you good at working a job, doing this, do it. Running a business and owning a business is not for everybody. I don't advise everybody to be an entrepreneur. Some people are better at, you know, just organizing, putting things together. Fucking driving this over here, driving that. You have a part to play. You have a role to play. Find out what it is. Just because you see she running a successful uh, waist training business or whatever the fuck it is, that don't mean you can do it. First, you have to understand if you're capable to do it. That's what I said in the dudes. I'm, it's, it's action. It's about your action, right? So what I spoke on is in the, um, like, taking action because we can talk all day long. So when taking action, first you have to know if you can do it. You know what I'm saying? Can you do this thing? Do you know how to do this thing? Let's say that right there. Do you know how to do what you're trying to do? Second thing, what's most important, do you want to do? You know what I mean? Thirdly, do you have the tools to do it? And then fourthly, what's the plan to do it? You feel me? You got to have all those things together and they have to mesh for you to be able to, to make shit happen, to make shit work. So if you don't have that shit together, I mean, if you do or if you don't, whatever, stop allowing this shit to influence you to fuck your head up to where you're doubting yourself, you're depressed, everything, because you're not living like these stars. The stars are being promoted and dumped on us in a massive fucking, you know what I mean? Just like a, uh, like if a motherfucker just was pouring a bucket of water over you, it's being force fed to us. <clears throat> Their lifestyles are being force fed to us. And you know what's so crazy is that I talk to different people and I think I've probably just in probably a couple weeks it's probably about 10 women that I've talked to and men too that have said I say you, you own any socials? They say, yeah, they say, nah, not really, man. You know, I, I'll take a break from that. I'm not on it right now. Because you know what? They can't handle it. See, I can go on here because I can handle it. I have a purpose on here. If you're on there without a purpose and you're just consuming, consuming, getting force fed, the lifestyle, the lifestyle, the lifestyle, all this shit right here, then that can be draining. So if you're on any socials, my advice to you is to have some purpose. I'm on there with purpose. I'm on there to share. Uh, I'm on there to now sell my products, services. DetroitKingTape.com. Go there. MyHealthAndHustle.com. Go there. Um, tap in on artist development. You know, we work on some shit to help artists monetize and help them make the right decisions in their careers. As a person who spent over a million dollars in the music game, if nothing else, I paid for game and I learned it, you know, and it's a lot of insight that I do have besides connections as well. So you never know what I can offer to get, you know, what I mean, that you make and pull from it. But if that's you, are you being drained by social media, Is social media taking so much of a you know, a taxation on your mind and everything that you got to take breaks from it. I don't have to take breaks from this shit because it's, it's purpose. I get on here with a purpose. You know, I was talking to a few people and that's their whole spirit. They're like, man, I can't take it. I had to get off of there for a minute. I had to focus up. Just if I need to do that, I limit my time. And sure, I go on there. I see that I enjoy the lifestyles, uh, especially the women. Oh, my God. So many beautiful women on there. You know what I mean? Like, listen, I don't have no problem. I'll DM a motherfucker. I'll do whatever. I'll reach out. Because also, you know, women are beautiful on there, but it, it may be some business. We might can collaborate on something, some content, whatever the case may be. But I do enjoy seeing the beautiful women on there. 
I do enjoy seeing the lifestyles. You know, I, I look at a lot of different things that motivate me. These things motivate and inspire me. That's what I do. I focus on things that motivate and inspire me on there. You know, not just going on there to fuck off time. Now, if you're just going on there to be entertained, then you fucking up. You got to have a purpose for being on there. So find you a purpose for being on there. And now my thing is this right here. If you are just being entertained on there and you don't have a purpose on there because you might not have a business or nothing like that you're trying to do. And it's okay if you don't. But just limit your entertainment time. Balance that out with your real life. And you'll be okay. So now, while we speak in the social media, you know, like I want to snap this in y'all heads. If y'all not, stop trying to be stars if you're not a star. Like you're a star in your own galaxy. So be your own star. Stop trying to compare yourself to the stars and the lifestyles. And you beating yourself down. You got doubt. You know what I mean? You the jealousy, envy setting in. Don't do that. You know what I mean? And and like time will tell what you're gonna be, who you are, everything. So just constantly focus, work, and you know, try to, like I say, inspire and motivate. See, when I inspire and motivate, I don't think about a lifestyle. I just think about sharing the information, passing on information. If you pay attention to any of the greats, none of the greats were just stuck on the lifestyle. You see what I'm saying? I'm talking about the prolific ones. They'll let you know that none of that shit matters. What matters is your mindset. What matters is your energy. So remember that. The next time you tell me, man, I'm going to get rich or die trying. Don't get rich or die trying. You know what I'm saying? Like, just live. That's the best way. Don't get rich or die trying. So I also want to bring a... Um, I want to bring up a story on here, man, that I was uh, I was watching something on YouTube and this news clip clicked on about this story in Vegas to where <clears throat> I think it was these sisters um, and they set up this man to rob him and kill him. They offered him sex or whatever. They was playing like they was going to they was going to give him some if he came through and shit like that. Now, how they got hip to this guy, and this is deep. This guy was a, a a delivery guy, like refilling ATMs. And this story out of Vegas. And this guy was refilling ATMs. And first of all, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, rest up to the victim, man, and condolences to his family. But he was, uh, he was refilling ATMs. So you know what he was doing? Before he filled the ATMs up, he would take pictures of the money and post the money on his page. So if you looked at his page or whatever, I guess I got to find his page and check it out, see if it's still up. But it looked like he getting to the bag. And so he was projecting this out. So the women, everybody saw this shit and none of that was his money. This shit was going straight to the ATM. It's the same thing as... When you talking about these, if motherfuckers is working and you taking pictures with money, you whether it's the plugs money or whatever, you taking that picture, y'all in the streets, you taking a picture with that plug money, posting that shit right there. Not only is that enticing to the robbers, especially in this time, it's fucked up out here. So if you doing any of that shit, you posting the plugs money, you know what I'm saying? And it ain't your money. You just taking pictures of that shit and finna get that shit right back. You open up the door for a whole lot of shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got the people watching you. You got motherfuckers. You enticing the robbers. You giving them something. The the um, uh, scandalous, uh, sketchy-ass chicks out here that's trying to get on on you, set you up. So you opening the doors for that. So you better be ready and prepared to deal with it. If you posting that paper and doing all that shit right there. If you flexing in any capacity online now, like, this shit can go either way for you. So better be very careful, man. So this story right here out of Vegas is crazy because they wind up getting this guy, uh, getting him to the room, uh, I think making him think that he was finna get whatever it was. I don't know if it was his house or whatever or the story, but they wind up robbing the guy. Like the girl wind up, I think, going to the house with the guy and then next thing, a couple guys ran up. They ran up in there. He probably wasn't buying that shit and shots got went off and they killed him. So I'm going to play a clip from that. I just want to play a clip from that. 
Let's see something. Oh, let's play this clip real quick. Let me turn this off so I can play this clip. Okay, that's pause. Let me pause that. Okay, here we go. spaz out but they believe that person is also one of the people who conspired with neva to rob connor police say they later learned connor worked at a business that refilled atms while reviewing his instagram police noticed he regularly posted photos with large sums of money which they say was consistent with bailey's description of connor being flashy but when detectives spoke with Connor's manager, he said the manner the money in the post was packed was the same as how the money is packaged before being put into ATMs. Connor's manager told police he previously told him not to post those photos because he could become a target for a robbery. Nathan Neva, Skylar Bailey, and Emily Rideout were all arrested and charged with Connor's murder. As they now face charges of open murder, battery with the intent to commit robbery, and conspiracy to commit robbery. All right, we have a lot to break down in this case. So joining me to discuss it further is former prosecutor Melba Pearson. Now, Melba, thank you so much for joining me. To me, it seems like prosecutors may have a lot against the defendants here, especially... Okay, here we go. So now telling that, man, it's just like... Yo, let me turn this down real quick. Yo, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, so, bro, but do you see how simple that is? So you posting this shit right here. You luring these people in. Be careful of your post, man. That shit, that shit can come back to haunt you. Like right now, especially, it's tight as fuck, everything. There's no way you should be going over, above, and beyond unless that's what brings you your bag unless that you are an artist you getting paid for people want to see you shine and shit like that then that's cool but you see how the average people want to be everybody want to be stars everybody want to be famous everybody want to post some content everybody want to show that they balling too and that shit coming back to haunt the, the motherfuckers who know them. If that ain't your lifestyle, if that ain't what you're doing, you can only fake it so long. And that shit will come, you know what I'm saying, come back to haunt you. I know he probably has some signs or something. That's why you got to pay attention to the signs. So for all y'all out there, if you posting the plug money and all this shit right here, man, listen, motherfuckers is watching. Understand that people are watching and they waiting to get your ass. Like, I remember this right here. My man told me this. Like, we only got one time to slip up and make a mistake. When you talking about the cops, the police, all this shit right here, they got a million. They can fucking make a million mistakes. But you only got one time to make a mistake. And that's your ass. You feel me? So with that being said, man, lose the mentality of get rich and die trying and just live. Try your best to live the best life you can. If you got a normal life, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm here to tell you. You know what I mean? Like if you want to do better, continue to do better. But stop thinking that you got to make a billion dollars for your family to be okay. Because the living that you're making, just... Make sure that you can provide for them or make shit happen and present opportunities for them, for your children, for your family or whatever, as a man. Just make sure you can uh, give them opportunities so they can have choices in life. Stop trying to be the next fucking big millionaire, billionaire, if that's not for you. Now, if that's in your cards, go hard, do it. But I'm not telling you don't do it. I'm not trying to discourage you. I want to encourage everybody to do do it and be the best that they can be. This is only if you can do it, if this is you. If you want to do it, you know you can do it, you got the tools to do it, and all you need is the plan. Now, if that's you, run with it. But if it's not, and you know it's not, and life is showing you that you're not, stop doing that. Stop posting the post uh, of trying to just, you know what I'm saying, make this shit look good and everything like that. Because a motherfucker, you can give a person the wrong impression. Like this dude, he refilling ATMs. He can't be making no money. You refilling ATMs, you got a job. 
a basic normal ass job. But yet you want to show an extravagant lifestyle of you posting this bag. I'm posting this check. I got this bag. And that's not even yours. This shit finna go on the ATM. If he would have posted, yeah, man, doing another delivery, about to reload this ATM, man, them people probably wouldn't even fuck with him because they'd have understood that's not his money. That's not his bag. You know? So you got to keep it transparent in some form or fashion, man. You get on there misleading like a motherfucker and somebody be on your ass and you ain't prepared for that. He was green as hell and rest in peace to him. But, you know, he had to be green to be meeting up and doing all this right here to people he don't know. You know, and I'm pretty sure the girls wasn't that smart. So obviously they got caught for a fucking murder from robbing an ATM guy. They didn't do their homework. So with that being said, man. I want everybody to win. That's what that's what life is about, you know. But remember, define your um, uh, level of winning, and don't compare your level of winning to everybody else because it's not about that. So let's go, man. If you winning, man, give yourself a round of applause. You know what I mean? Give a round of applause to the Most High, the Creator. You know for having us here and putting us in a position to win. Let's go, Detroit King Tape, Help and Hustle. It's another one. My people going broke from overspending, over shopping on dumb shit. That's why I'm starting businesses to profit. Yeah. I need God in my life. Lord knows. We all need God in our life. Let's go. Will I make it to heaven before the gates close? Church to watch the sin off me. I got loved ones depending on me. Yeah, I gotta make it for them. So I gotta win. Yeah, man, we all gotta win, man. Just to define your level of winning. Let's go, man, and don't get rich or die trying. Just live. All right, man. Peace. Have a good one. Yes, sir.